Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, this is the continu continuation of my previous video tutorial uh, which, was, which is related to the uh, Spring Data JPA. So in previous video we had discussed about the uh, basically three repository interface uh, that is repository, curled repository and paging and sorting repository. So all these three repository basically if you look into the jar file which all three interfaces basically belongs to the uh, uh, Spring Data Commons jar and that is the part of a Spring Data Common project right so we had talked about the repository interface uh, basically this is a marker interface which does not contain any uh, interface right uh, which does not contain any methods if you create your own repository custom repository by extending this interface then you need to define your own method in your uh, repository interface and uh, next uh, we had talked about the uh, crud repository basically crud repository again part of the common data commons and crud repository basically extends repository and that defines method which are related to the crud operation crud stands for create read delete and update right so if you want to perform some kind of create read update delete kind of operation with the underlying database so this is the one of the uh, interface through which you can perform basic crud operation right and uh, you can you can see on the top of this uh, interface in java doc what they have given interface for generic crud operation on the repository for the specific type now after that we had talked we had talked about these methods all methods which is available in this interface and these methods are the pretty straightforward right if you look into these methods then this method is basically if you want to save entity reference entity object into the database then that's the same method which returns is the same object now if you want to save collection of object right so itrable is the uh, itrable is the topmost interface in the collection hierarchy so that's why they have they are passing the top mist interface uh, reference so that you can pass list of collections set of collections or any kind of collections right now if you want to retrieve based on the id then that's what we have a find one if you want to check any entity exists with the existing with the particular id or not so that's what we have a exists method if you want to retrieve all entity from the database then find all and here if you want to pass collection of ids and that will return to the return you the i tra i of entity class and if you want to look into the how many records is available on the database then that's what we have a count we have a two overloaded method of the delete method one is deleting the record based on the id another is you will have to pass the entity class entity class reference or entity class object and another line record will be in, in deleted and uh, again we have a delete method basically which uh, accepts collection of entity object and finally delete all will uh, delete the all the records from the database again we had talked about the paging and sorting repository right and this basically you can see i mean java doc on the top of this interface extension of crud repository basically this interface extends crud repository interface and that takes entity class and primary key as a, as a reference right as a generics so basically this is the extension of crud repository to provide additional methods to retrieve entities using the pagination and shorting abstraction so if you want the some kind of uh, shorting as well as uh, pagination kind of functionality then it is a very good candidate for that and you can create your own repository interface by extending this interface when you are working with spring data jpa now last but not, not the least we'll talk about the jpa repository right so you can see jpa repository again extends a paging and sorting repository right and paging and sorting repository again extends crud repository so when you if you create a repository by extending jpa repository that means he, uh, this uh, interface 
is having own method lot of methods you can see in this interface but some of the methods are also uh, accessing from the paging repository uh, sorry paging and sorting repository as well as from CRUD repository right but uh, when you are using JP repository so uh, when you are looking for the JPA specific uh, JPA specific functionality right uh, when your uh, when your DAW layer is tightly tight, tightly coupled with the some kind of data store then you should go for the JPA repository right and if you look into the methods in this interface available methods are so we have a find all method right similar method is also available in the current repository also right if you into a scroll down then find all but only thing is that return type difference here uh, find all method which is available in the current repository returns i travel of entity class object right i travel of entity reference but uh, if you look in the jpa this return the list of entity reference so that's the main difference again you have a, a method is called find all there you can pass some sorting object right so on which property of your entity class uh, uh, i mean you need to pass the property on which you want to sort right so that's all find all again you have a find all methods there you can pass collection of ids primary keys you have a same method which basically helps you to pass collection of entity class object and this will save all entity reference into the underlying database now when you are dealing with the some kind of jpa or jpa then you you might have a, some kind of flushing mechanism right so uh, this will flushes all the pending changes to the database right so that's what we have a flush method this method is not available in the current repository as well as paging and sorting repository because this uh, interface has been designed for the generic purpose right and uh, next method we have a save and flush so basically this works like a save and flush that is the combination of save and flush right so saying that saves an entity and flushes changes instantly now similarly if you want to perform some kind of batch operation right so this kind of batch operation is not supported by the CRUD as well as CRUD repository as well as paging and sorting repository so if you want to perform some kind of batch operation then suppose if you want to uh, delete some batch of object right then you have a method delete in batch similarly delete all in batch if you would like to delete all elements in the batch you can set the batch size as well right so that's what delete all in batch similarly you have a get one based on the you will have to pass the primary key uh, ref, uh, primary key and you'll get the uh, corresponding records from the underlying data store and uh, that's that's all these are the methods you have available uh, in JPA repository interface. So we have a lot of theoretical discussion. We had a lot of theoretical discussion in this video and as well as in previous video. In next video, we'll see some hands-on, right? We'll try to understand this API through an example, right? So thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial.